guys, Adrian here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm sharing with you a Facebook Marketplace haul and it's mostly vintage items, vintage inspired cottage style items. I'm so excited about this haul. I've been curating it for quite some time, just picking up pieces here and there, things that I couldn't find like at thrift stores or that were on my list. Um, I've had an ongoing list of things and I am so excited about finding these things. I think shopping on Facebook is such an economical way or another economical way to find things that you've been looking for um, without having to pay so much money. A lot of these prices they range from like garage sale prices to thrift store prices. Now I know the thrift stores prices are getting higher or going higher. I, I feel like by the week. Thrift store shopping is so popular. It is trending majorly. It is, it's time to shine. And I'm so excited about that because before really to even say you shopped at a thrift store was kind of looked down upon but i've been shopping at thrift stores yard sales marketplace for years now and i love it i hate paying full price for things unless i absolutely have to have it and i do i will pay full price for things um but i love shopping for home decor um on the marketplace so that's why i'm sharing these things with you and you know the thrift stores like i said are getting so expensive and it's because a lot of people are shopping for them and they must know that vintage antique items are trending majorly with these cottage core grand millennial um home decor trend and i think it's awesome you know vintage antique items are shining right now it's their time to shine i guess and i love it and i'm so excited so I told you guys a, a while, a couple videos ago that I had gotten rid of all of my vintage antique stuff when I was going through divorce and I did keep a few things, but over the past two years, I went from farmhouse to modern farmhouse to Southwestern. I, I was just going through so many different things. It was all hodgepodge and a friend had helped me and gave me a few items and, but now I know, and now I want to decorate again and um i loved my shabby chic vintage antique stuff it, was, it did have that rustic feel to it the farmhouse but now i'm just going more for like a print french provincial or um just like that cottagey i am loving the trend but there's just certain items i just really love and certain colors that i really love so I'm really into the metals, not so much into wood, just little pieces here and there. Um, so anyways, let's get on to this video. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I got from the marketplace, then keep watching. All right, I don't know what order this is in, but I'm just gonna show you. So you guys know I have a problem with lamps. <laughs> I never had this problem before, but I've been on the hunt for a certain type of lamp one that was gold or brass and maybe had some crystal in it. So when I saw these on the marketplace, these were such a good deal. I could not pass these up. And these are like semi thrift store prices, more yard sale prices. But I found this amazing, it is so heavy. This bottom part is heavy. Not sure if it's, um, it doesn't really say who made it, but it seems really, vintagey to me i mean look at the legs on this thing so beautiful i definitely it's a little bright for my liking i love that worn in tarnished look but this glass is heavy and it was only five dollars it came with another um, lamp that i'm going to show you right now but i just thought it was so beautiful perfect for a nightstand or an end table in your living room i'm actually redoing my bedroom on a tight budget and everything I want it to be antique or vintage and again going along with those French provincial <laughs> style um, 
So this was amazing. Everything looks in good condition and I love it. I just need a, um, what do you call it? A lampshade. So those are hard to find. Okay, so here's that lamp I put next to my bed. This is kind of where I've landed with this, but I think it's too bright. I'm really liking this kind of vintage gold, and this is just too bright. So I tarnished it a bit, <laughs> and I am loving it. Um, yeah, all I did was Paint it with black paint from Walmart, the little bottles you get for 50 cents, the craft section, craft paint, and just dabbed it. Okay, I'll show you how I do it here. And then I used the rub and buff antique gold. Let's get at that tarnished look, and I'll show you what I do. Cleaned it first. I dabbed it on there. Just splotty dabs. Just kind of splot it. Or just kind of go like this and then spot gives it more of that tarnished look and then I go over so okay so I did all the paint you can see I did some strokes some splotting and I mean it looks okay but I really want it more to look like that so I'm going to start antiquing it with the gold okay so uh, again I'm just like Splatting and then that smearing so you can see that it kind of looks just give it that tarnished worn in look this, this is the look that I'm going for worn in look like it hasn't been cleaned <laughs> some people are like why do you want that look I just I love it I love the antique worn in look. I always have. It's it's just I don't know, something about it just is my cup of tea. All right, it is finished. Oh, I love the way it comes out. Makes me want to clean it, but that is the tarnished look I am talking about. So so pretty. This is so pretty. Really can't get that gold piece, but no, that's fine. But it, it just makes it pop now. Okay, so that's the finished product. Definitely not that goldy gold like there. I didn't like it. It reminded me of the 90s or 80s. So... Um, I got just got this lamp too. I think it goes perfectly with that. Um, it's just my Bible and some devotions. This here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna move that right there. But I always like to have a coaster for my water and stuff. Um, so yeah. And actually, I might use this as a coaster because I'm not really using that so i love how that came out this however the second one it came with had a lamp shade and it's a little bit eats and tlc it's definitely broken inside i'm gonna see how i can fix it if not i do see them at the thrift stores for pretty cheap i'm just trying to find a pair um this one was five dollars so i got the two for ten dollars and this one is so pretty, just a gold, simple vase. And definitely will, I'm going to use my rub and buff on this to make it look older. I just love things that are tarnished. 
Okay, so the next item I found was this beautiful tapered candlestick holder. It is so beautiful. I have been looking at the thrift stores for these and when I do find them, they are so expensive. Between five to ten dollars. I mean, if it's five dollars, I gotta love it. And I found a gold brass one. But I just didn't love it. It just, there was nothing about it. So this one, I jumped on it really quick. It was free. And another thing I love about the marketplace is you can find a ton of things for free. I have. Um, so, you know, I'm going to rub and buff this. It's just so pretty. It has a pretty little stem and just, it's just so cute and for free. Free is for me. And these I did, this you can see was like a pewter color. I don't know if you can see kind of like that. And then again, I just painted it like that black and then put the antique gold and it took it up a notch a little better that way. It just looks more antique than the pewter, which is like kind of right there. <laughs> okay, this next one, I've been looking for these for quite some time. I found some that are more vintagey, vintagey rather than antique and they're not so ornate. Um, and these were such a great price. I had to pick these up. It is a salt and pepper shaker and it still has a salt and pepper, which I am going to clean out. But look at the legs of this thing or the base. It's so beautiful. Doesn't say who it's from, but it is just so, so pretty. I love it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to rub and buff this because I like this pewter color, but here's that one as well. And I just saw it. Yeah, it doesn't say who it's from. And these were only a dollar for the pair, so 50 cents each. I thought these were so pretty. You cannot beat this. I had went to a flea market um, before I found these and almost grabbed like these vintagey ones that you'll see at um, restaurants. This is your typical clear glass and it has like the, I don't know, I'll try to post a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. And they were a dollar and I almost grabbed them, but I didn't because I'm like, ah, I feel like I can find some different ones. For a dollar and sure enough I did so these are so beautiful they're just so gorgeous and I can't wait to display them somewhere in my kitchen She had a bunch of stuff and I just kind of went crazy. Um, I found this beautiful candlestick holder glass and it has a little handle. And these are, these, I don't see these often. Um, I love the little holder. I think it's so cute. Um, and this was only $1. So she had awesome, awesome prices. I follow her now because she has a ton, a ton of stuff. and. I only had so much time to look through her stuff. So I also have been looking for this. You guys know I've been looking for this. I either wanted a clear one or something that was tarnished and just definitely vintage looking. And sure enough, I found this on her page as well. It is so beautiful. You can see all the tarnish on it. Oh, I just love it. And I don't want to polish it. I just love this look. I loved the fact that it came with a tray that you can wash um, because otherwise I wouldn't have used it, but I definitely will use this and it's pretty clean inside. This I probably will polish on the inside just to clean it out really well. And for $5, you cannot beat that. That's, that's my like price I'll pay for something like this. Five to ten dollars just depends. If it's ten it's got to be like ornate and cute and but this I can deal with. It is so it's so pretty. I just love it. So I'm also on the hunt for these. Um, hopefully I won't become a hoarder of these either but on the lamps I'm tapped out on the lamps. I don't need any more I just needed two for my bedroom, one for my outside area of my bedroom. It has like a little 
I guess a foyer you can call it foyer and um, I needed one for that table out there and I wanted one to have in my kitchen I want to do a little vignette with a little lamp and I think I showed you that in another haul but I'm gonna be doing how I style my thrift items here pretty quickly or pretty soon so anyways I was oh I can't believe this because these are so expensive at the thrift stores and um, even on marketplace but when I saw this I could not help myself it was only five dollars she was so beautiful and big and it's just so pretty I love it and this is from I don't even know because it's backwards so maybe oh there Ga J Godinger and company I don't know who that's from it's funny because I see it backwards and on here it's the right way um, so I thought this would be beautiful to display some beautiful spring flowers or vintage um, like rolling pins or cooking utensils. I thought that would just be so pretty. And so that is what I'm going to use with this. Um, so really happy to have found that. Um, so these next items were free and I have been looking just for pretty ornate or gold looking picture frames and this one was free and I thought it was so cute. Um, definitely will put some rub and buff on that so because I want everything to be cohesive looking and you know still have or that ornate look and with flowers or whatever it is. Um, I even like that up there which I'll show you in a second. She also had this picture frame that I thought was pretty too. Um, and I thought I would do the same thing and maybe couple these together somewhere. We'll see, I don't have, I have picture frames now, of, but they're so plain. So free for those two from the same seller. I thought that was really awesome. And um, you can get these like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I'm sure for probably under 10 bucks each, but free. And all I have to do is rub and buff. It's, it's awesome. Oh, and from that other lady that I got the other items together, um, the one with this, she also had this whole set of utensils for $2. And they, they do look a little vintage, um, nothing really spectacular, but I can always use some. Like this was really cute and for $2 and then really good shape. Um, <laughs> look at this, it's like a cheese knife. So I love that because we do do treachery boards. <laughs> I love this. I love using big forks for or like getting meat or something like that especially for Thanksgiving oh this was really pretty it's a cake server pie server and we always have dessert for dinner at least once a week I thought this was so cute I love this little like tulip look that'd be cute for spring to display um these two I was like meh whatever but again they're just like we're always cutting pies or cakes. We have so many people and um, we're always using those. And this is the reason why I picked this. Um, I just thought it was so cute and these are hard to find. I definitely won't be using these because they are definitely tarnished, but they're like salad tongs or just tongs. Um, I just think they are so beautiful. I'm not sure if I want to use them, but and this thing I'm just going to donate. I really don't care for that. Um, the next one I got for spring just to decorate, maybe do a little tablescape. She only had four of them. Um, I do need a set of 10, but I'm sure I can find these anywhere. But for the price, I thought they were pretty good. It was $5 for four of these and they're just little placemats. And I love that they're little. I've seen, um, people do chargers and then like a place a smaller placement or the little woven um, 
picnic clay holders and I thought this was another great idea because it's about the same size and then you, you would put your dinner plate or salad plate on top of this and it would look so pretty so I, I got those for that probably for the spring maybe do a cute little display on just half of the table and maybe do something else um, because I have seen those little woven um, paper plate holders they look like baskets I guess um, so I might use those too, but I thought if I can't find those, at least I have these to do like a little spring decor tablescape. So, and the last thing I found and I've been looking for, and these are hard, again, hard to find along with these tapered candles that are brass or gold. It's the rage right now. Like everything brass. If you look on Facebook marketplace, just type in brass, whatever, and you'll see so many things. But I found these and I thought these were so cute. I have one already hanging right there. Um, you can open it in the back and I believe it looks like these are from Hobby Lobby. And I only paid $5 for both of them. So I'm trying to find some cute um, art work to put in here and just maybe hang on the wall in here or even downstairs in my gallery wall. Um, I'm still working on that, but this is like the type of stuff I'm looking for, this ornate picture frame. So these are so hard to find. And when you do find them, they're so expensive now because like I said, these are hot commodities. So I jumped on this right quick when I saw these were two for $5. She did have a mirror that was so beautiful for $20 and I almost got it. Uh, but I'm having problems right now with my bank, so I cannot. All right, and I wanted to add on here um, a thrift haul. I didn't add to my last um, video, my thrift haul video. Um, I recently, I'm not sure if it's going up before this one or that one, but I had forgotten about this. So I've been curating all these thrift items for quite some time. Uh, I've just been collecting things and I'll just store them away until I'm able to film. My usual spot is downstairs in my living room, but it has been hard with the sick kids and family members being home. So here we are in my bedroom. But let me show you what those things are because I'm so excited to share those with you. All right, so keeping up with my gold frame theme, I found this and I don't know how much this was. I think I actually got this from a Facebook marketplace with one of those other free things. Um, this came, this is actually for the Facebook marketplace I got for, um, I paid like three dollars maybe nine dollars for three boxes of housewares and only kept a few things out of each one um so still for nine dollars keeping some things this was part of it so i don't know you would say this was a dollar okay so from the thrift store i found this sweet cute little picture frame where you can put two pictures it was 99 cents but on this day um, all the red tags were 75% off, so I paid like a quarter for this, which is great. So I cannot pass this up. Um, like I said, I want to use it for gallery wall, just to put pictures in. There's lots of pictures I need picture frames for. This also was in the marketplace with the other picture frame. And nothing. It's just a little simple one. I'm going to try to do a DIY and do some ornate molding on here, add it to glue it on. So we'll see. That's why if you see some plain ones, that's what I'm going to be doing with this. So I'm going to test it out and see how that works. Cause I think it would be so cute to put some, just add some vintage, um, vibes to this. In this thrift store, they have a antique section when you walk in. I think it's called like Ruby's Corner or something and this um, same thrift store is kind of all over the valley and they have these same vintage little corner it's called Ruby's Corner so I always love to go there first and check it out the prices are a little bit higher but I like to find the things that are on sale that week so I found this in 
she is a beauty look at her like so pretty and her little handles oh, so beautiful um she was ten dollars but again she was a red tag so what like two dollars and fifty cents for this i could not pass this up it's beautiful 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 this two piece hmm. just realized it said it was a two piece so not sure what went on this this cute little I mean, it's like a jewelry holder but I thought about maybe trying to put my teacups on here and displaying those somehow I just thought this was so pretty with the little birdie at the top and this was a dollar 99 so I couldn't pass that up I thought if it didn't work for my teacups I will use this for jewelry or something else something you can hang things from I thought this was really sweet and I love the color it won't do anything to it. It's just so sweet. seeing these around um I don't want to say this probably was a dollar um usually when I see them they're a dollar um but didn't have the tag so I'll have to check the receipt but these are so pretty um fourth of July is coming up and I thought this would be pretty to put a little candle in there in my a vignette or something or even display not sure but I thought this was just really pretty and really popular right now so I had to grab it so I've been looking, or this was on my list of things to find. Um, not sure which style I was going for, just thought that whatever grabs my attention, I would grab it. And it's this little clock, a tabletop clock. Um, I love that it's glass, probably crystal, not sure. I don't even know how to figure that out, but it was only... $3.99 and I thought it was so it's it's gonna look so pretty on my bookshelves on a couple of books or something just displayed on there and I had to grab this. <laughs> Also got that brass horse for a dollar off of Facebook marketplace. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Alright, the next item I found I thought about using it in my bathroom and I think it's so pretty. It's missing a few jewels, but that's okay. I know we can find some in different places, but I thought it was just beautiful little, I don't even know if it's like a plant holder or what, um, but I was thinking of putting it in my bath area. I have a one of our Roman bathtubs and I have some walls that I need stuff um, to put in there so I thought maybe like one of those ivy plants that grow or some flowers or little hand rolled towels so many things you can do with this um, I'm not sure if I would paint this maybe I'll have to test the back to see but I love this color it looks um, antique vintage and I thought it was just so pretty and it was only six dollars so I thought that was a good price and yeah that is it for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed this haul um i loved using a facebook marketplace to find some of the things that i've been looking for that i couldn't find in their stores 
and I'm really looking forward to yard sales. I just saw this past weekend people were doing a yard sale and it's going to be yard sale season here soon. Still a little nippy outside, but it's definitely on its way. And so I cannot wait for the yard sales. I think those videos are gonna be hot this year, um, yard sale finds. And I'm so excited to see what I can find in the yard sales. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please give me a like. If you are not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. That would mean the world to me and help me out immensely. And it's free. And if you would like to be notified of my next video, be sure to hit that bell, the little gray notification below, and it will notify you of my next video. And leave me a comment. What was your favorite thing? Do you like thrifting or do you like going to the stores and purchasing items at full price? I would love to know. And please share this with a friend or anyone you know that loves these types of videos. I truly appreciate it. All right, you guys, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.